hi guys what's up and welcome back to my channel today if you're stopping by for the first time you are welcome all right don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever i upload a new video all right so today i'll be showing you guys how i turned this full length denim pants into a really cute mini skirt all right so right now i'm just laying my pants on the table but first I'm just going to open it up and fold it into two equal halves so it's easier for me to cut, okay? So right now I'm just going to measure the length that I want my skirt to be in. I want my skirt to be at most 21 inches long. So I'm just going to cut through the max spot, okay? And please note that my trousers are in fold currently. So I'm cutting through both parts of the trousers at the same time or both yeah, I'm cutting through both parts of the trousers at the same time just to get an equal cut, okay? Just to make sure it's equal in length. Yes, that's what I mean. After cutting the trousers, this is what it looks like, alright? So the next step right now is to take off that center seam or stitch that at the inner sides i don't know what to call it but just what i'm doing i'm just going to cut off those stitches all right so i'm just cutting and cutting yep <laughs> So after taking off those stitches, the next thing is to remove the center seam at the front and at the back as well, okay? So the reason I'm taking off these stitches is because if, if I don't take off the stitches, the back would look something like this and we don't want that. So I went ahead to loosen the band at the top of the trousers behind so it's easy for me to work with. So right now I'm just taking off the stitches or losing the stitches whatever you want to call it okay so i'm just removing the stitches all right yeah at the front i stopped immediately i got to the end of the zip or the beginning no the end of the zip at the front i didn't take it all the way through all right so right now i'm just repeating the same thing behind this is pretty much what it looks like after the stitches are all gone it looks like this all right so yeah i'm just going to fold it into two equal halves like the two front parts lying on each other and the two back parts lying on each other so i have like one front part facing me and one back part facing me all right so I'm just going to lie it or lay it straight. Next, I'll be cutting off the excess fabric from the back piece only. Okay, so I'm just going to cut from the crouch all the way. Is it crouch? Crouch. I'm just going to cut from the crouch all the way down. Okay. I'm doing this for the back only, okay? Not the front, just to get all those excess fabric off. And right now, I'm just going through it again just to ensure that the one underneath and the one on top are equal in size, okay? Done. the next step would be to join the back pieces together all right so i'm just going to use a straight stitch to do this and i'm not 
stitching the waistband alongside i'm just doing this for the back pieces alone all right so this is what it looks like after sewing i've joined the back pieces together and this is what it looks like so right now remember i'm just going to do the same thing for the front i'm just going to join the front uh remember i did not cut off the excess fabric from the front part because i didn't want it to look really bulky or something like that so right now i'll be using an overlap pattern to join the front pieces so the upper part would be on top of the inner piece right like the outer part of this front piece would be on top of the inner part of the yeah on top of the inner part just like you see me doing basically so i'm just going to use a pin to secure that till it's you know just to help me hold it in place before sewing okay so to join the front part i'll sew to this point and take it all the way down using two stitches okay from that point take it down all right so I've sewn the front part together right now. I'm just going to cut the bottom just so I get equal length all through the skirt. Like the bottom is equal. Yeah, that's what I mean. So I'm just going to cut all the excess fabric and all the unequal ends of the skirt. All right. <music> After cutting the ends, I realized I really did not like how blunt it was looking. So I decided to use a needle to pull out some thread just to give it a ripped effect. And that's what you see me doing basically right now. I'm just pulling out thread just to make it look ripped. Alright? Yeah. This is what it looks like after pulling out some thread. So I'm just going to cut off some excess length of those extra long thread. So it doesn't look really weird or strange. So yeah. Then I would go back into my waistband behind and just join those parts together. And that's it. Like that's it. It's really easy, really simple. All right. I did this in I think 45 minutes. So yeah. <laughs> so guys this is the finished look this is how it looks on me right now i am feeling myself like this cat is giving me good vibes you guys don't know <laughs> so do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video do not forget to share and subscribe all right that's basically it for this video guys so bye